it's Nick here from That Student Life Australia and this video we're just going to be going uh, through a quick topic or a quick sort of area, uh, class to question. So how do I get the information that I learn in class actually on, on, the, on the exam paper uh, when it comes to HFC time? Uh, so basically I've written down a checklist, I know you guys can't see it from there because the camera's probably too far away, uh, but these are the things that uh, you really need to tick off before you start answering questions. And uh, it's going to be, you want to know what what area of the syllabus that you're addressing. I've got an example using ethanol here um, for chemistry. Uh, so you want to know what part of the syllabus that one's from. You want to know the relevant information from that syllabus dot point. So through your study and your flashcards and whatever you're using, uh, you would have got that relevant information and you know how to answer uh, that part of the syllabus. Uh, you also ne need to know, sorry, how to break down the question um, using or analysing the verbs that they use uh, if you're going to school in Australia I know pretty much every school gives out or it's really easy to get your hands on uh, the HSC verbs uh, like evaluate and describe and analyse and, and all that good stuff uh, and there's also a little other dot point about it down here it says additional info um, basically what I'm talking about there is sometimes the information isn't enough to get the full marks uh, out of the question, uh, so we're going to have a bit of a look at that as well. Also, just as a quick point uh, I thought I'd make before I go any further in this video, I've uh, really orientated this video around answering uh, questions in the sciences, so your chemistry, your physics, um, and your biology. Uh, I'll do, I, I might do another video on how to answer more essay-based subjects, uh, but this is mainly yeah, conveying that science-based knowledge, so just a heads up. Okay, so basically uh, it doesn't matter what subject you're doing, uh, you're always going to have a syllabus to refer to and uh, the best way to go about you know, learning for a test is to learn the information uh, that's associated with that syllabus dot point. Uh, so basically I've got an example here for you, it's from chemistry, it says describe an account for the many uses of ethanol as a solvent for polar and non-polar substances. Um, and basically what you want to do, you want to take uh, this information that you would have written down in your summary and you want to apply it uh, to a question. So basically um, what I'm going to go through is sort of how I would approach uh, a question such as this and hopefully you guys can sort of take away uh, you know, the, approach, the, the approach that I've uh, gone about and use it in questions in other subjects as well. So the question says, uh, evaluate the usefulness of ethanol in society and you can see uh, there's a horrible seven marker. Now you really need to nail your answering technique with seven markers because they're pretty ruthless uh, with the marking. So basically what I want to talk about uh, is ethanol is used as a fuel and as a, and as a solvent. So I'll cover that in a quick sentence uh, at the front related to uh, its use in society. And basically I'll dive straight into why it's useful as a fuel. Uh, talk about it as a petrol extender. Um, talk about it being renewable. Uh, yada yada yada. And um, you might feel like you've answered the question there, and um, really what they're looking for as well, even if they haven't mentioned it, is they're looking for an equation. So here I've also written what you need to write in. Uh, it's an equation for the complete combustion uh, of ethanol. Uh, make sure you balance it, make sure you write uh, the correct states in, and uh, then we're straight on uh, to why ethanol can be used as a solvent. Uh, and this is where the other th uh, the other half of the marks are going to come from. So we're talking about it used as a solvent. Uh, we're going to talk about why it's useful as a solvent. And uh, basically I've drawn a little diagram in with some horrible deltas there. Uh, basically, this is what you want to draw in um, after you talk about the ethyl group. Uh, basically that's non-polar. That means it can dissolve non-polar substances. And you've got this OH group or hydroxyl group which is polar. And so it can dissolve polar substances quickly give a give an overview of that and uh, yeah jump straight into a diagram because this just shows that it's polar that's negative that's positive and that's positive as well so it just allows for polar interaction uh, between molecules rounded off uh, in a quick sentence at the end uh, relating back to the question and uh, yeah you're pretty much done your seven marker so obviously that was a pretty quick uh, overview of how to answer an exam question. But basically what I want you guys to take away from this video is the approach that I took to uh, answering the question. So what I did, I identified the syllabus dot point that it came from. There is another one that talks about ethanol as a fuel, so that's where I got that other information from. And uh, I learnt the information 
concerning uh, concerned with that dot point. Uh, I broke down the question. I figured out uh, what verb uh, you know I, I was looking at. It was evaluate, uh, and so I'll just actually detail what evaluate is by definition here. So evaluate is make a judgment based on criteria and determine the value of. So we did that uh, through the answering of the question. I also came in with some additional information uh, and that that's pretty much what separates the band 5 and the band 6 student. Uh, the band 5 student would have known the information upside down, back to front, inside out, but they wouldn't have come in with with a diagram, uh, with, with an equation detailing you the complete combustion of ethanol and that's just that's just uh, something to come into a t into a test uh, prepared with so you can have the edge over those other kids um, basically yeah that's it guys I hope that uh, information was useful basically just a quick rundown of what you need to do you need to know your syllabus you need to know the information on the syllabus look at the verb break down the question and uh, yeah finally just come in with some additional information you should have the edge this is Nick from that student life Australia I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.